I think uh, Allah, God, Bhagwan, when He gives you pain, uh, we all are good people. I think yeah. most of us are. Yeah. Uh, there are very few bad people in this world. I yeah. mean, you, I think you can count them on your fingers. I believe everyone has an inherent goodness. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's more evident. Yeah. Sometimes it's not because we are so caught up in our daily lives. Yeah. But I think uh, whenever Allah gives you pain, uh, God gives you pain. It is only to tell you mm. that something worse was going to happen. Huh. So I'm just letting you go with physical pain. Physical and uh, pain. And I truly believe that physical pain is, uh, you know, like how old people say, paisa to hath ki mail hota hai. You know, yeah. money is not important. Yeah. Similarly, I think physical pain is just a way to tell you that, listen, you've been good. Yeah. That's why I'm not giving you worse. Yeah. I'm not giving you emotional pain. Yeah. I'm giving you only physical pain. Yeah. That become okay. You know, yeah. just requires a few painkillers or a surgery. So I believe oh, whenever. Surgery I, scary. I've had lots of them. Uh, so it's become a part and parcel of my couple of years uh, 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 schedule now. <laughs> I'm becoming nearly bionic. I have a titanium disc and now uh, they will suture this and then they will put some anchor. And uh, yeah, so I'm slowly becoming bionic. And uh, I think the less flesh and blood I am, the longer I will last. <laughs> so these all titanium stuff, it does not rust. So I, I look at it very positively. It will give me some time to work on the scripts that I was about to shoot in yeah. June, July. Yeah. It'll give me time to work on My Name is Khan. Huh. It'll give me time to work on Ravan yeah. that we are producing. It'll give me time to work on Happy New Year. Yeah. It'll give me time to work on Dawn 2. So there'll be some positive. Yeah. Also, I, maybe I'll, I met, strange, I met Mr. Mahesh Bhatt on the flight huh. two days ago. Yeah. And he told me 15 years ago to write a book. So I'm still writing it. <laughs> so I said, listen, yeah. you never told me when to end it. <laughs> so should I end it now? So he said, yeah, better end it now. Take this time and end it. So maybe I'll yeah. end that book also. Yeah. yeah. And how, how do you like, um, you know, describe it to, you, uh, to your kids, like do they understand the kind of pain that you, you said you were in a lot of pain in LA, how do they like, what do they come and tell you? They're very cool, yeah, I mean they're okay, they're like, uh, you know, they think, I, I, I think more than anyone else in this world, yeah. my children think I'm a hero <laughs> and, uh, and very nicely, not because I'm yeah. a movie star, yeah. uh, so they think, uh, and I also feel somewhere, I hope this pain is the pain that I'm taking away so they don't get it. They don't get it. Yeah, yeah. so uh, they're quite okay. They have so much faith. Huh. The blind faith and love children have for their father or mother yeah. is so outstandingly beautiful yeah. that uh, they know he'll be alright. Yeah. Not even a doubt comes in their mind like grown-ups. Our minds are so convoluted. Yeah. Yeah. We are worried. Ab ye right. na ho jai, wo na ho jai. Anesthesia kya hoga? Yeah. They are so confident and uh, happy about the fact that, you know, He'll be okay. Yeah, Papa will be okay and he'll be jumping and <laughs> like my son was just saying, so after the surgery then you'll fight with me, na? you can beat me up after that. Na? Right yeah. now like we're doing a little fight, so I say, hey, don't hit me, I'm hurt. Yeah. So I so, Papa, you know, this is it, you're making excuses, but I think I can beat you now even when you're not hurt and all. <laughs> so they're okay. Yeah. Yeah, but like uh, they were saying they want to come and see me in the hospital. Maybe one of the reasons I'm doing it in India is that. Yeah. Because last time when I went away, I was away for a month, yeah. post-surgery and I missed them. Yeah. I'd like them to, I think they're old enough now yeah, to see me a little unwell. Yeah. So it's okay, they need to understand that. Yeah. How many of your oldest friends? Like, I had four friends actually? since childhood. Yeah. Uh, Bikash, Raman, uh, Ashok and Vivek. Yeah. And they're still my friends. I, one of their wedding also I couldn't go. You know, they're my friends because we don't expect anything of each other. Except if we're in trouble, we'll be there. Uh -huh. And we hope we never have to meet for trouble. But I'm in touch, I don't talk to them on the phone huh. and then suddenly Gauri will say, Arre Vivek has come. Huh. And we'll start off where we left off nine months back. Yeah. So I have the relationship with four of them and are now of course, in Delhi uh, two are in Delhi, one is in London, one is in Singapore. So that's why we meet less. I was in Singapore the other day, Ashok called, uh, can I come, uh, should I come and see you? Yeah. So I said, no, yeah, I'm too busy. Said, okay, love you man. So it, it's very easy yeah. and uh, that's what I think friends are for. Yeah. That you know, you can just sort of... Uh, I think count on them for not encroaching on your space yeah. while filling it with love. Yeah. You know, it should be like that. I think when I was in school, I used to enter my principal's office and there was this line which said, count your life by smiles, not tears. Count your age by friends, not years. Not years. Um, no. So I am four year old, I've got four friends. <laughs> and here in Bombay, I've got Karan, Adi, yeah. Aziz, Juhi, yeah. uh, Chunky's brother. Huh. I think these are my friends and there are some other friends, Jatan Jain, you know, yeah. some of them I don't even meet. Yeah. But I was just telling, like, if you're my friend, then, you know, I'll always be there if something is wrong yeah. without ever letting you know uh, or make you feel that you have to call me. You yeah. know? So, like, if I've known, like, uh, 
I mean, at, at a point of time when uh, when I heard about you and Rajiv also, I've known Rajiv long enough to think he's part of my life. Yeah. I don't want anything from him. Yeah. I think neither does he. Yeah. But it's like, you, you know, you get attached. Yeah. I can't be emotionally available to everyone all the time yeah. because of the line of work I'm in. Yeah. Uh, so I try to utilize that uh, with my family most, yeah. my kids especially. Yeah. But I know for a fact that, uh, like, you know, I, I see a friend and I just hear if it's good or bad. If it's good, I'm happy. I'm genuinely happy. If it's bad, then I just make it a point to be there. Do you remember any funny incidents with any of them? I remember one emotional incident, which is in my book also, and I was telling because people are talking about friends. Yeah. I remember uh, I was running, and I, I used to run very fast. <laughs> and I was running, and uh, and Ashok was, is my best friend. Huh. So I, I'm running with him, and then he was behind me. Huh. And I stopped, and I waited for him without thinking huh. that I'd lose or win. Huh. And when he came along, I was very happy to go and finish the line 7th, 8th, 10th. <laughs> And my son was four years old and I went to see uh, his race. Huh. And you know how fathers are a little pushy? So I'm like, come on, win it. And so he ran and he runs fast. Huh. And he crossed and then he stopped. And he turned very, he can't, couldn't even speak. Huh. He just turned and kind, he was in kangaroo kids. Huh. And he just stopped and uh, waited for this one other little kid. <laughs> and he took his hand and he came last. So I was little, I, didn't for, I forgot I did the same. Yeah. And I said, I didn't, you don't have to stop. And very sweetly turn around and say, Baba, Baba, he's my friend. He's my friend. So I have to go with him only. Na? And that, that purity and that beauty is what I remember about friendship. That, you know, yeah. he's my friend. You, you've been shooting My Name is Khan now. I mean, um, how has it been like shooting again with Kajul? I mean, after eight years? Or... See, like I said about friendship, you know, I don't find it special. Mm -hmm. Neither does she. Because we start off where we left off. And we keep bump meeting. I mean, she comes yeah. home. Uh, there are some of my actors like Rani, Kajal, Juhi, a uh, lot of them keep coming so I don't even miss them yeah. you know, whether I'm working with them or not because we have a good friends yeah. and uh, yeah, when you start working it's like, um, yeah Kajal, you do, I, I don't know, it wasn't even special because we've been meeting each other. Yeah. So it's not like, hey, damn good to work with you yeah. again and we don't ever think of it as work. Yeah. And Kajal has been saying like, I mean, you have this kind of special magic that, you know, in, in, in uh, yesterday's interview he was saying that, you know, them together, I just don't know what happened. Yeah, he said, we were doing a shot and uh, there's a scene where our friend has died and I'm sitting and she comes and sits next to me and uh -huh. she just holds me and I'm autistic, so I don't speak and all yeah. in the film. So I'm just sitting, sitting a black suit and then everybody started telling me that, you know, Shahrukh, you're looking very good looking because that's the first time I have a change in the film. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm wearing the same clothes. Uh -huh. So everybody says, I wore dark glasses. I made Kajal wear and I turned the whole film into like a matrix, men in black kind. She was also dressed in black. Huh. And we had a great time because we enjoyed that more than the scene we were shooting. <laughs> that, you know, we're looking tough and I said, you know, I, I want to be like Jason Bourne and you be my mall. So we have a lot of great time and he kept on saying, you know, this, this one shot that I've done is so magical. He thinks it's so. Kajal and me just look at him and like, shut up now. Let's, if you think it's okay, let's go home. Then we, do, we don't think it's special because I think, like that's what I've been telling everyone, you know, the relationship is so wonderfully ordinary that it starts looking special on screen. Yeah.